So the first part of the problem just has us converting from meters into inches. So it's 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 10 meters. And we're converting from meters into inches. And this is something you might want to look up because I doubt you have it memorized. If you do, I'm impressed by you. I don't have this memorized. This is just something I had to look up. That one meter is equal to 39.37 inches. Three, that's a seven. 39.37 inches per meter. So we'd apply this as a chain link conversion, where we multiply our starting value by 39.37 so that the meters cancel out. And this gives us a value in inches of 3.9 times 10 to the power of negative 9 inches. So that's the answer to part A. Part B asks us how many atoms are along a 1 centimeter line which is basically saying that if we treat the diameter of the atom as a length, then how many atoms per centimeter? So we can kind of think of this as we're converting from centimeters into atoms. So we're starting off with one centimeter, and then we're given the diameter of the atom in meters, so let's first convert from centimeters into meters. So that's one meter per 100 centimeters. And then we're told that one atom has a diameter of 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 10 meters. So the centimeters cancel out and are replaced with meters, and the meters cancel out and are replaced with atoms. So this gives us an answer of about 1.0 times 10 to the power of 8 atoms. And that's the answer to part B. That's it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing or donating to my Patreon, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request for a future video, or a comment, or just a question about this one, leave a comment down below. And I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.